And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here as we get set for race number 11 of the season for the Tax Slayer Truck Series here in NSRA competition. Continuing on the chase, towards the chase for the championship. And we continue to have the number of winners get larger and the amount of room available in the eight driver chase grid get smaller as last week at Charlotte we saw Isaac Nichols pick up his first win of the season that brings him to be the 11th different race winner this season and as I said there's only eight spots available now as things stand right now only eight drivers hold those eight spots as far as race winners because eight of the 11 race winners so far this season are inside the top 30 in the points three drivers are outside of the top 30 in the standing so their win right now would not count towards a chase position but we still have quite a ways to go in this season before we even have that championship grid compiled, which means the odds of us having a 12th, 13th, 14th, I mean, you can go on. R different race winner going to victory lane. The odds are pretty good. And it's really just going to come down to, I think, who could be the highest in the point stands with one win as to who's going to make the playoff grid. So, you know, the... the, the Intensity is definitely kicking up here, and what better place than to have the intensity kick up than at one of the oldest racing surfaces on the schedule. We are here at the Lady in Black Darlington Raceway for 37 laps of racing. This track brings about a lot of really good racing, but usually good racing in the terms of we have comers and goers. Some drivers have their trucks, or in some cases cars, which we'll be seeing later on with the Mountain Dew Southern 500 later on this weekend, but here focusing on the trucks, some drivers are going to have their trucks set up for the short run. Try and get positions picked up as quickly as possible and then try and see if they can be able to figure out what can my truck do for the long run how do I need to adjust my entry to the corner my exit out of the corner but some drivers are set up for the long run and of course there's always the possibility of a fuel mileage race as well so this is going to be a crazy one tonight let's go and get that command drivers start your engine there's the command to fire them up 37 laps of racing so with our stages here tonight we are going to have it split up into uh, 12, 12, and 13. So at the completions of lap 12, 24, and 37 are our three stages this evening. You see Alex Gray on the pole, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. Multiple wins, that's what you're gonna need to get into this chase here, at least for this series. Alex Gray, former winner at Bristol Dirt, would love to be able to pick up his second win of the season. He comes into this race 16th in the point stands, picked up six spots last week at Charlotte, so this team is turning things around and trying to see if they can be the first repeat winner this season as we give you a top 10 coming into tonight's uh, race. Ace Garcia is the point leader, 61 points he holds over Seth Cole. Ryan Brommer is third, Jessica Miles fourth, Marcus Saachi in fifth. Then it's Tristan Allen, Joshua Hyatt, Shane Lake, Patrick Smith, and Nick Johnson, the top 10. Only three former winners this season come into this race inside the top 10 in the points. Will we see an 12th, a 12th different driver go to victory lane here tonight. We'll have to wait and find out. Alex Gray and Julius Anderson bring us down to the green flag. We're underway at Darlington. Let's roll. have to see who here in this 42 truck field is going to be leaving this faint racetrack with the legendary Darlington Stripe on the right side of their truck. Alex Gray out to the lead. Battle for second is on. Marcus Saachi is going to take the spot away from Eli Bright. Davey Johnson right there as well. Saachi takes second. Johnson looking for third. Move into second, third place. Julius Anderson to fourth. Tyler Deaver to fifth. Is Eli Bright trying to find his way down from the top side? Not a whole lot of grip there early on for the seven. And now he's going to have the Daytona race winner, Tony Green, to the inside. So he'll drop back at least to seventh. Maybe further is now Joshua Hyatt, Seth Cole, and Stuart Gratton are all there on the bottom. And now to the bottom of the racetrack for second, Davey Johnson very easily makes the pass on Marcus Saachi. So I think we can safely say the 77 is set up for the short run. And he is all over the back bumper of Alex Gray. Going to maybe try and take the race lead here into three. Not quite. Not ready to make the move just yet, but he might want to make it pretty soon because now Marcus Saachi, Julius Anderson, and Tyler Deaver have gotten themselves into a single file formation. 
And there goes Davey Johnson to the bottom for the race lead. Easy pass. That's the same place that he was able to pass. Uh, yeah, who was it? <laughs> I'm blanking out. Was it Sachi? I think he passed for second place. I think it was. There you can see Alex Gray caught in the high side. Oh, we had a spin. Spin on the front straightaway. Skid marks and smoke heading down to the inside wall, but no caution. And that looks like that's the 12 of Tristan Allen. It is indeed. So Tristan Allen spinning, but it did not bring out a yellow. Out of the way of the other trucks, the other drivers. So NSRA officials not throwing the caution. We'll show you what happened to Tristan via our... NSRA split cam as we are still green flag racing here and we have now completed five laps under the green flag. Marcus Aachi now in the back bumper of Davey Johnson. We mentioned Marcus Aachi comes to this race fifth in points. Davey Johnson on the other hand comes into this race all the way down outside the top 30 in the standings in 40th. So obviously he would like to have a win to get back up into the top 30 in the standings. Of course for Marcus Aachi he obviously would like to be able to get a win, which would automatically, at this point in time, put him in one of those eight playoff spots, and I believe that would knock out Nicholas Rail, who was 30th in the point coming into this race. Right now, as far as the eight drivers that would make up the grid, if the season were to begin now, it would be Ace Garcia, Joshua Hyatt, Nick Johnson, Alex Gray, then Joshua Sakuli, Jonathan Zorland, Charles Jackson, and Nicholas Rail. So if any driver above 30th in the point stands goes to victory lane tonight for the first time, rail is out and they would be in to one of those eight spots. Davey Johnson, he's had Marcus Aci on his back bumper for the last three or so laps, but no move made yet by the 74. We jump back here, good battle for third. Julius Anderson has it. Alex Gray, Tyler Deaver, and Tony Green right there. How about Tony Green? Nice to see him having a good run. Went to victory lane the very first race of the season at Daytona, but since then it has not been a good year for that Red Bull Chevrolet. 35th in the point stand, so currently that Daytona win does not count towards a chase position since he's outside the top 30 in points. So Tony Green trying to continue to work his way back up into the top 30 in the standings as Saatchi has lost touch with the race leader Davy Johnson and now he's getting reeled in by Julius Anderson so we could have a battle here for a second between a couple of Toyota Tundras. Another driver that is running very well right now is the 24 of Jake Moss as well as the 05 of Eli Sazak. A couple of drivers out of AS Racing. 8th and 9th currently on the chart. Moss coming into this race uh, currently situated in the 39th position in the point standing. Sezak currently in 17th. And right behind them, well, he was in the 10th position, but now Jake Rogers has just taken that spot away from him. But points leader Ace Garcia, we mentioned, comes into this race 61 points over his next competitor in Seth Cole, who is actually back... Uh, quite a number of positions behind the 51 right now so currently Garcia with where he's running would continue to grow his points lead heading into our next event so I think with the way it's looking right now unless we have another eight different race winners this season before the chase begins Ace Garcia is definitely making a case for himself where he's going to lock himself into the chase for the championship maybe within the next three weeks or so if he continues to have these consistent runs because if he's going to have that huge of a gap over second in the points, there's no way anyone's going to take him off the top position in the standings. And I think that one win would be enough to be able to get him, if necessary, into that final and eighth spot in the chase for the championship. So I think right now, with the road that he's on, Ace Garcia we could be very well looking at the very first competitor that we will see in the Tax Slayer Truck Series chase, which uh, not much of a surprise. Ace Garcia was a two-time winner last season in Pizza Hut X Series competition and made the chase in that series. So carrying over that luck here into the uh, Truck Series as we're looking at Jake Rogers. Rogers had a great run last week at to Charlotte, and that jumped him up in the point standings to 26th and having another good run in the top 10 right now in that 10th position. We've got a battle back here between 
Patrick Smith and Nick Johnson. Patrick Smith running well in the point standings as he is ninth in points, but still for his first win. Nick Smith, on the other hand, went to victory lane at Talladega Super Speedway, and he is 10th in the point standings. So those drivers having pretty decent runs. It's Tristan Allen there in the 12. Oh, Nick Johnson up and into the wall. He's going to give himself a Darlington stripe there on the 42. Lost a spot to Joseph Srigley, loses one to Stuart Gratton, and now here comes Joshua Hyatt, our winner from Dover. He's trying to catch up here as well. So Nick Johnson dropped from about the 12th position back to probably about 15th, 16th place. He had a race lead change. And the race lead change was maybe in part to Shane Lake, who is just on the tail end of the lead lap, I believe, and Marcus is now the new race leader. Uh, Lake is indeed on the tail end of the lead lap. As, oh, and I, I th said Nick Johnson was run up inside the top 15. I was wrong. He's two laps down. 42 is off the lead lap, as is Tristan Allen, five laps down, and we do have a driver out of the race, too, and that is uh, Marty Zakala out of the race due to a clutch issue. So, some drivers getting hit hard early here at Darlington. 74 is the leader, 43 ahead of him. Shane Lake is actually on the tail end of the lead lap. How about Jake Moss? He's moved up to third place there in the 24. Davey Johnson, who led a good early portion of this race, now back in fourth. Alex Gray, the pole sitter, still up here at the front in fifth place with Tyler Deaver and Eli Sazak. Don't count those guys out. They might have something planned here. It doesn't look like Shane Lake is off the pace. He is completely up to speed, which is making things rather difficult for Saatchi to be able to try and put Shane Lake in his rearview mirror. Keep in mind too, these drivers have now run 18 going on to 19 laps under green, which very well means that we could end up seeing yet another fuel strategy race. I do not believe they can make it the full 37 laps on one tank of fuel. They're going to have to pit. I think the fuel window is somewhere around 34 to 36 laps. So unless these guys are saving, they're going to have to pit anywhere from three to five laps remaining as Julius Anderson will take the top position, gets by Marcus Saatchi, and now finds himself out in front. And Julius Anderson was a big contender last week at Charlotte for the win, as I recall. Wasn't able to uh, take the checkered flag. Isaac Nichols was the one who did that. Uh, Anderson finished that race in eighth. And now Anderson will be able to get to the inside of Shane Lake. Lake trying to hang on on that top side. Got a little bit of straightaway speed with a little help from the 74, but now not going to be able to hold off this inside line at turn one. Looks like the outside line can hold its own in three and four, but there's just no grip in one and two. And there's another car up ahead they're gonna have to deal with. That looked like the, uh, is that the 17 of Dylan Thoreau? I think it was. Race lead will change again. Marcus Acci to the bottom, whoop, not for long. Here comes Anderson battling back. He'll lead that lap, but watch how the 97 just drops like a rock here in one and two. Bye bye. Jake Moss. Nice end, exit out of turn two. Got a nice run down the back straightaway. Will he go to the inside of Saachi? Yes, he will. And he's going to try and use the 17 of Thoreau as a pick. And Thoreau will be that pick. Jake Moss will go to the top position. Ooh, tried to get to the left rear quarter panel of the 17 here going through turns one and two, but... Not able to do it, and Davey Johnson, who was out in front early in this one, now there on the back bumper of Jake Moss. Moss now will get to the inside of Thoreau, and we'll put him a lap down. Ooh, he almost went three wide. Car in the wall, that is the 17. And they're wrecking. Oh, there they go. Eli Bright, Marcus Saachi, and Eli Sazak, caution. And this takes out any fuel strategy. These drivers now going to have a caution flag to be able to pit under. But that was three of our top contenders right there that were up inside this top seven. 
I think they spun before the caution came out. So if they spun across the start finish line, I think they would stay in the positions they were in when they spun across the line. They have Sezak scored in seventh, Saachi in eighth. So those drivers may end up getting to stay where they spun across the line. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, the pit stops happening uh, may change everything up anyway. As there's Marcus Saachi. He's out in front for quite a bit here tonight, and he's on the apron coming to pit road. Tough break there for the FedEx Toyota Tundra, and here you see it. The drivers could not make it on fuel. They are all coming to pit road this time. Anyone that stays out is pretty foolish. So this is the money stop. So we will stay on the 24 of Jake Moss before we go and look at the replay. We will check and see who's going to win this battle off pit road. Ryan Brommer in the 8 is also on the pit lane. That's a top contender in the points, third in the standings. I don't know if he got involved or not. I saw some skid marks further down the front straightaway past where we saw Saachi and company uh, spin. So maybe there were some other drivers that got swept up into it. And I would be very surprised if these drivers don't go with a four-tire strategy. Darlington's one of those tracks, especially with the surface, that eats up rubber. Nope, two-tire stop for Jake Moss. He is down and away. Had to kind of slow up there for Gabe Williams. Davey Johnson down and away. He'll beat him off of pit road. It looks like Jake Moss will come out with the race lead. So now the question is... Will he be able to hold on to the race lead when we get back green with less than 10 to go? For now, though, we're going to take a look back at the replay of what brought out our first caution of the night. Yeah, watch the left side of your screen there, the red truck of Dylan Thoreau up in the wall trying to stay out of the way of these race leaders, and he actually really didn't cause the wreck. Saachi kind of came down out of turn four into the right rear of Eli Sazak. Eli Bright going to get a piece of it right there. And then I believe the 42 of Patrick Smith also is going to get involved. Or did I say the 42? I meant the 41. My apologies. Yeah, a lot of damage there on the front of the target Dodge Ram. But we also saw that Ryan Brommer was on pit road. And I don't know if someone comes up in front of him here or not. Let's look and see. I don't see Brommer in this pack of trucks. Okay, there's Brommer right there. He's to the inside of one of the uh, WF9 fan cars. Oh, and right up in front. And Wow. Marcus Saachi right up in front of Ryan Brommer. Now, I don't understand that. Why did the 74 come right back up into the racing line? That, that was weird. Oh, look out. Woo, Zorling. Close call. But, boy, that... I think the 8 might not be too happy with the 74 after that. I mean, Saachi spun. He was in the wall. He was off the pace. Why did he come back up into the racing line when everybody else was racing back to the caution? As a matter of fact, uh, the 8 car and all those guys, they were actually, they had to go back around one more time to race back to the caution. So they actually hadn't even taken the yellow flag yet. They were going to take it the next time around. So, boy... I highly question that. And that's two drivers that came into this race, top five in the points. The eight of Ryan Brommer was third. The 74 of Marcus Saatchi was fifth. So Saatchi hurt himself as much as he hurt Brommer. So not good for a couple of our top contenders in the point standings here in the closing stages of this race at Darlington. Getting ready to go back green, although Jake Moss is going to have some company up front with him. Tristan Allen and Nick Johnson both have been to pit road when we were under green fly conditions, so they did not have to pit under this yellow. They lined up behind the pace car and will restart ahead of the race leader, Jake Moss, as we will have a total of eight laps remaining in this one. Out of the race are the cars of Eli Bright, Marcus Saachi, and Ryan Brommer. They join Marty Zakala in the garage area, who retired due to a clutch issue. Tristan Allen is four laps down. And then other drivers that are off the lead lap include Darren Davidson. Uh, David, wow. Yeah, Darren Davidson. I said it right. Uh, Dylan Thoreau, Shane Lake, and Nick Johnson. Seth Cole is 33rd, last car on the lead lap. As Jake Moss makes quick work of the lap machine of Nick Johnson, now goes to work on Tristan Allen. 
Davey Johnson now having to deal with Nick Johnson as Alex Gray is going to get pinned up to the high side. Julius Anderson will get by him for third. Johnson now clears Johnson. <laughs> How about that? And now Jake Moss to the inside of Tristan Allen, but he's going to have a rear deck lid full of the South Point Chevrolet. Maybe not. Davey Johnson did not take that corner very well. As a matter of fact, Julius Anderson thought about sticking it down there on the inside three wide. Decided against it, though. We've got seven laps to go. Jake Moss now clear of traffic, as is Davey Johnson, as is Julius Anderson. Tyler Deaver and Jake Rogers are now the top five. A couple of players late. How about a Yandro Yepes there in the double zero? Where in the world did he come from? And also Ricky Cervantes up there in eighth as we have a car on pit road, a truck on pit road. I couldn't tell who that was. We can find out. Well, that's the 0-1 of Darren Davidson who's already off the lead lap, so I'm guessing he probably couldn't make it on fuel. And now Jake Moss having to deal with Julius Anderson, where did Davey Johnson go? Wow, he fell all the way back to six at the 77. Hitting the stripe, we have five laps remaining. Moss, Anderson, Deaver, Rogers, Yepes, your top five. All drivers still looking for their first win of the season. You gotta go back to seventh place Alex Gray before you get to a former race winner this year, as now Jake Rogers gonna go to the bottom of the racetrack. He'll take the third position from Tyler Deaver. Jake Rogers, very familiar to racing NSRA trucks, a former truck series champion back in the now retired Oreo truck series. And Anderson might be playing with his food, but he can't really wait too long because Jake Rogers got a very strong truck and here he goes for the second position. Like I said, Jake Rogers may have the strongest truck right now here of the top four. Question is though, does he have enough to be able to get up there and get Jake Moss? Wow, nice exit out of four there for Julius Anderson. Hangs on to the second spot for the moment as we have a little less than three laps to go. Anderson, good run there out of turn two. Can he make the move going into three? Roger's gonna try and make the move on him for second, can't do it. Can Anderson get another exit out of four like he did the last lap? It looks like he did. Can he get a big enough run down here to make the move into turn one? He's looking, not enough momentum this time as it's two laps to go. I think I just saw a truck down there on the apron. Not certain. Yeah, that is a truck of Darren Davidson. And he's gonna be holding up these guys. Jake Rogers to the inside of Anderson for second. This could be very interesting depending on where Jake Moss catches Darren Davidson. Rogers moves to second. Deaver looks for third. White flag in the air. One lap to go. Moss makes the pass on Davidson. Rogers does the same. Does Rogers have enough to get to the back bumper of the 24 to challenge down here into three? Had a spin in the back straightaway. Doesn't matter. Still green. As out of three and four, Rogers, one last attempt. Not close enough. Jake Moss, his first truck series win, comes here tonight at Darlington Raceway. Jake Moss came into this race all the way down in the 39th position in the points. I don't think this win will be enough to get him into the top 30 in the standings heading into our next race, but it certainly is going to be a big help. And he becomes our 12th different race winner this season in Taxlayer Truck Series competition. But the question is though, who's in the top 30 and who isn't? Because I'm looking here at our top 10 and a number of the drivers that came into this race outside of the top 30 in the points that needed a good run to get back into the top 30, like our winner last week, Isaac Nichols, like Paul Minnick, like Tony Green, I don't see them finishing here in the top 10. I don't even see the guy who came in on that cut line of 30th in the standings, Nicholas Rail in the top 10. So we could end up having uh, only seven of our former race winners inside the top 10 or top 30 in the point standings 
when this one's over. We'll have to see where those drivers that I just mentioned, where they finished. But Jake Moss with the win. Big time win there for AS Racing. Jake Rogers, so close, but he'll have to settle for second. Tyler Deaver brings it home in third with Jordan Anderson and Yandru Yepes completing your top five. Davey Johnson was sixth. Stuart Gratton kind of came from out of nowhere late. He finished seventh. Joseph Srigley, great run for him in eighth. Ninth was Ricky Cervantes. And how about Charles Jackson, our winner from, uh, where was it? It wasn't Richmond. I don't remember where it was he won now. Uh, Texas? Or was it that Jackson won? Was, or maybe it, was, maybe it was Kansas. It was Kansas, yep. He's going to finish in the top 10. There's Paul Minnick. All right, so maybe Minnick jumped up into the top 30 in the points. He got an 11th place run here tonight. Isaac Nichols was 14th, so he might have also jumped up into the top uh, 30 in the points. We'll have to see. Nicholas Rail came in 30th in the points, and he got 18th. Not a bad run, but certainly needs a lot better to get himself away from that cut line. Tony Green was in 19th, and let's see where our other driver that was in the... Uh, Outside of the top 30 in the points, former winner. Where is he? He is... Who am I looking for? Looking for... I think those that was everybody, wasn't it? Green, Minnick, Nichols, and Rail. Okay, yeah, I already found all of them. All right. So, I don't know. It's going to be close. I think, let's see. Nichols was about 22 points away from the cut line. Uh, Minnick was about 24 points away, and Green was about 33 points away from that 30th in the standings cut line. So, I don't think they've yet gotten into the top 30 in the point standings. So, we'll have to see how close they are to that cut line uh, heading into our next race. But, certainly, you know, a lot better runs than it could have been. And so, we'll have to see if maybe they can follow it up with good runs uh, in the upcoming weeks. But anyway... End result is Jake Moss going to victory lane. You look on down here, we had uh, 32 cars finish this race on the lead lap. Uh, 38 cars finished the race. Thoreau, Lake, Williams, Johnson, and Davidson, along with Tristan Allen, all finishing off the lead lap. And then out of the race, uh, after our only caution of the day, Eli Bright, Marcus Aachi, and Ryan Brommer, and Marty Zakala retired very early from the race due to a mechanical problem. So tough break there for that driver but that is gonna do it here tonight from darlington jake moss becomes the 12th different race winner this season in the tax layer truck series hope you guys enjoyed tonight's race if you did be sure to give us a like subscribe to become part of the crew today we've shown you full feature results these are your overall point stands heading into our next race which is next week all three series are going to be heading to the desert phoenix international raceway the newly reconfigured Phoenix where the start finish line is on the quote back straightaway now so kind of the reversed Phoenix so that'll be a very interesting race weekend for these drivers and for the fans as well and we are going to cap off this race weekend at Darlington with the Mountain Dew Southern 500. Pizza at X series are off this week but one driver in particular James Qualls he's not going to have a vacation he'll be joining me and the commentators booth for that race so that'll be a lot of fun hope you'll be tuning in for that event as well we'll see you guys next time though as you've been watching a production of the SA Rate offline racing at its best